traveling and holidays always great time to strengthen the relationships and to build the family and to keep it closer. When I was diagnosed and informed that I've got the intestinal failure, described as the short bowel syndrome, I was afraid that I won't be able to travel more. Traveling for me is a part of normal life and uh, even though I, I'm dependent from parental nutrition, traveling makes me independent. The parental nutrition changes my life. Since I start to use a backpack, I'm allowed to be more active and more mobile, to spend holidays as well outside the home, and uh, also to keep the infusion in a proper condition. I love to bike and I always love to, I love to spend time to feel the nature and to feel as well independent. Normally I take a parental nutrition during the night, uh, it's enough, uh, but uh, when I plan a longer bike trip, and especially in a hot condition, uh, I also have to take care of uh, proper hydration, so therefore I have to take extra fluids uh, in my backpack. There are several things which you have to take into consideration when you are planning your journey. For sure destination, the accommodation, also the length of stay is important. I've created a list of things for other patients which should be done before the journey and I also documented it on a movie, on a video. For sure, you have to consult your travel plans with your physician, uh, present them to the pharmacist uh, and of course pack all the medical equipment and nutritional formulas according to the checklist. In my opinion, the parental nutrition doesn't limit you from any kind of transport. You can take a plane, you can take a train or a coach. But when I decided to come to Corsica, the car allows me to take all the equipment with me from my home to the final destination. It's a quite long trip from Krakow to south of Corsica, even more than when you have to consider a ferry on your way. Uh, and I decided to make a one stop and during the night I infused my nutritional bag. It was really great to see the smiles on my kids' faces when we finally reached the destination and we could start our holidays. In terms of hotel room, it's important to have a bathroom inside. Of course, you have to need some safe and stable place to prepare your nutritional bags and to follow the procedures. And also it's important when you are using compounding bags uh, to have a fridge uh, in a room. It's very important not to keep the bags just in a mini bar, which doesn't allow you to keep the right temperature, the st stable, which is from two to eight centigrade. I use a compounding bags normally. Uh, but uh, if I wish to extend my length of stay, I use also multi-chamber bags, which I can keep in normal room. The swimming is a controversial issue because there is no 100% procedure which secure your catheter from infection. For every patient, like for me as well, uh, catheter is it's my lifeline. Therefore, it, it's my role to protect this as good as possible. On the other hand, we are in the middle of holidays and I wish to also spend time uh, in a swimming pool with my kids. Uh, so it's really important to follow procedures and to also try to choose the clean places to swim just to minimize the amount of bacteria and of course again uh, minimize the risk of infection. I like to say that I've got this huge appetite for life, uh, so for sure it's uh, one of my mottos and the traveling and the possibility to change places and to get new experience, know new people, uh, allows you to fulfill your appetite for life. France is famous of its great cuisine and for sure there are a lot of dishes in which I'm not allowed to eat like olives, but at least uh, I'm really happy about the fact that I uh, can try it. I'm really thankful that uh, parental nutrition was invented. 
it still allows me to experience such a great moments like here on Corsica and I dream to motivate others to do the same. <laughs>